Quadrilateral RSTU shown is the site plan for a parking lot in which side RU is parallel to side ST and RU is longer than ST. What is the area of the parking lot? Well, the first thing we need to realize is that the shape we're dealing with here is something in geometry known as a trapezoid, two parallel unequal sides. And to find the area of a trapezoid, what we would need is the height and the length of the two bases. And it turns out we know that base 1 is 45. We know that, base, we know that the height is 60. And so really, we would only need base 2, which is the length of RU. If we know RU, we can figure out the area of the entire trapezoid. So really, the question boils down to, can we find the length of RU? You will not need to apply the actual formula, but in case you're curious about it, the formula for the area of a trapezoid is the average of the bases times the height. So statement number one tells us RU equals 80. Well, bingo, right there they hand us what we need. We know RU, we can figure out the area. Statement number one is sufficient. Done. Statement number two is a little more complicated. Statement number two tells us that TU equals 20 root 10. So TU is this length right here, and that is 20 root 10. Well, what I'm going to do is draw another vertical line down to the base from T. I'll call this point down here Q. And so then notice that I get a square, a rectangle rather, WSTQ. And so this side is 45 and this side is 60. Well, then I also have a right triangle, Q, T, U. And in this right triangle, I know the hypotenuse. I know one of the legs, so I could use the Pythagorean theorem. I won't go through the actual steps, but I could use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the length of QU. Well, that's significant because if you notice, RU is made of three pieces. It's made of RW plus WQ plus QU. Well, RW is 15. WQ, the other side of that rectangle, is 45. Plus, and then if we figure out what QU is from the Pythagorean theorem, we'd be able to figure out RU. Once we have RU, we can figure out the area. So it's a little more convoluted. We have to reconjigger the numbers quite a bit more in this statement. But it turns out we still have enough information to answer the question. Statement number two is sufficient. Both statements are sufficient. Answer choice, D.